Hello, everybody, and welcome to the penultimate part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Warped. Today, we're going to beat the game. And then, next time in the final part, we're going to beat the game again. So let's go ahead and get things started off with Mad Bombers. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, just making sure. Can never be too careful. All right, Mad Bombers. What? A vehicle level where Crash... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Crash does have the escape... I mean, not the escape... Whatever. Crash... Coco, remember, it is not only Dr. Cortex that we battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. Wasn't he supposed to say that before the boss fight? Oh well, but yeah, um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, I was about to say that this is the only Crash vehicle level, but I forgot that he does have a motorcycle. So, all right, for this, well, we want to destroy all the cranes. All 11 of them, to be exact. We also want to destroy the big biplanes. Is that one of them? Yeah, that, that seems to be one of them right there. I got him. But it won't count until he hits the ground. Yeah, kind of slow moving. Gotta watch out for gunfire. Got a barrel roll. Slippy taught me well. Slippy taught me well. Wait a minute, no, Slippy Toad, no, 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 not Slippy Toad, I mean Peppy. Peppy taught me well, and apparently I didn't destroy that plane. Okay, seriously? Yes, yeah, Slippy, that's the one you always got to rescue. Peppy, he's the one that gives you the useful information. AKA, just constantly telling you to do a damn barrel roll. Will you die? Am I hitting you? What is going on here? Thank you. All right, we're twenty percent done with the level. Holy crap! Uh. All right, my mortality is imminent. Where is health? There is health right there. Please hurry up and hit that. Hurry up and hit it, crash. Hurry up and hit it. Hurry! Oh my God! Please, crash! Hurry up! Hit this damn thing! Thank you. And of course, it's wasted immediately. Oh my god, what happened to my skills? Okay, um... Actually, yeah, I'm about to die, so let me go ahead and just get the gem. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm probably going to die in the foreseeable future, so then I'll just... Yep, okay, there we go. Alright, so now all I need to do is just focus my attention on the biplanes, and all will be well. All will be well. Let's see if I can actually destroy them this time now. Okay, he's taking fire. Dear God, come on. Come on! Seriously, what, what the hell? I'm hit. What am I supposed to be aiming at? Oh, the, the, the engines. Yeah, I'm freaking smart. Okay. That's why they weren't dying. Okay. Kind of too late to do a barrel roll there, but whatever. I still did one. Peppy's words have not fallen on deaf ears. Planes are these? Holy crap! It's like the, the craftsmanship on them. It's impeccable. I mean, they're actually sustaining fire. That's that's kind of amazing. Actually, that should be the you know bare minimum for a freaking warplane. It should be able to sustain fire without the pilots dying. All right, come on. One engine. I took stupid damage right there. I like how I'm consistently doing barrel rolls after I've already taken care of the thing that's firing at me. Okay. Uh, two more planes to go. We are 60% done. If only there was a way to speed things up. 
theoretically speaking, I could do it in you know, post, but... Nah, I don't feel like it. Or at least, I don't feel like it right now. It'll probably be a different... Ooh, right. Probably be a different story when I actually go to sit down and edit this. Alright, let me grab some health before we tackle the final one. Oh my dear God, stop. Alright, alright, I think that was the last of the health. So, uh... Wow, this might not be happening. No! No! <sighs> Cutting ahead. All right, thank you. That was a kind of a close call there, but eh, managed to do it. Managed to do it. Took a bit longer than expected, but hey, whatever. All right, still sub ten minutes into this. Actually, I'm still sub nine minutes into this. But oh well, we got the gem and the crystal. We got him in that order, but not in the order that Crash just showed them off. Anyway, onward to Bug Light. Oh, how I waited for this level. Too bad it's the only one of its kind in this game. Ah. Man. Oh well, time to go ahead and do it. And uh, Wait, interruption! Okay, and now time to go ahead and do level 25. Bug Light! Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Yeah, it starts off, you know, where you can sort of see everything. You know, but trust me, everything's going to get dark once we enter the uh, pyramid. Got to watch out for uh, alligators there. Yeah, they're still here. 120 crates. All right, we can do it. Come on. All righty. So far, so good. Nothing catastrophic happening. Why do I feel I say that in almost every episode? Alright, got some of these. And a mask. Thank you kindly. And our good friend, the Firefly. Who is serving as our bug light. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah, the game punished me for that bad pun. Uh, before I could even finish it, they were like, yeah, no. We don't like where this is going. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's destroy crates and spin away my fruit. Can't stop for wampas. Must keep running. Must keep running in the ancient. How dare you destroy the crate that I was going to destroy? Oh, crap. For the life of me, I can't remember if I want to jump on this or not. Screw it. Oh, dear God, I should have got that checkpoint. Uh, I want to go back. <laughs> I want to go back. Oh, 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 crap. Ooh, I'm going to have to start a whole bunch of stuff over. Wait, no. I might be able to do this. As long as I believe in the heart of the cards. Just remember what Yugi taught me. Okay. All right, so far so good. And yes, this is our token. You have all the gems, so here you go, level. Yeah, I'm about to make this a bit easier for me. <laughs> I don't give a damn. That's what the bazooka's for. All right. Am I hitting anything? No, no, I am not. Fine. So yep, I'm just taking my time. I don't really care. I don't really care. I just want this to be easy for me. I failed to hit that checkpoint before I went down this path, so yeah. And once again, I'm paranoid, so I'm hitting that. Then again, there probably will be a nitro crate, but yeah, whatever. Purple Gem! How you doing? Okay. Oh god, nope. Run. 
My depth perception. It is horrible. Okay, I chose to hit the checkpoint this time, and I'm saving those masks. Let me just be on the safe side, because I know you will respawn, Mr. Firefly. Okay, yeah, there, there's no crates down that little stretch of land right there. Alright! So now that I have it, sh I should have gotten at least two of those things before I came back here. And then they'd be right there for me when I get... Oh, why am I playing like a dummy? Okay, time to be cheap. Alright. I have some insurance when I'm going here now. And plus, when I get the gym and then I come back here, they'll be waiting right there for me. Oh yeah. Ah, I am such a smart guy sometimes. Crap! Double crap! Well, that was pointless. Okay, I managed to make it that time. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. I really need to work on my depth perception here. It's, uh, why, 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 why? I should not be having this much trouble. Okay. Please, for the love of God, do not let me screw this up. Alright, well, at least he's dead. Alright. Okay. Gold Jim! I missed you. I missed you. Ah, Gold Jim, you never led me astray. You did lead me to danger. What the hell, Gold Jim? I thought we were cool. Alright, so Spiky Mummy is now dead. We got another one? Okay. So far, so good. Wow, okay, this is the path of Spiky Mummies. Kind of cut that jump a little bit too close for comfort. Alrighty, okay. And Red Gem. I am indifferent towards Red Gem. Red Gem knows what he did. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, say anything about it, but yeah, you you know what you did, Red Gem. You know. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and grab a clear gem. Hell's yeah. And yeah, this just takes us back to the very beginning, right? Well then, or not beginning, but the warp room. All right, we got our gem, and now we have our invincibility. And now we're about to wreck the rest of this level. Alright. Come on. Everything's just- oh crap! <laughs> I was about to say, everything's so much fun when you're invincible. <laughs> and then I almost died. Uh, that would have been sad. Alright, and we got a good old checkpoint right there. And a bonus! Alright! It's been too long, bonus. It's been too long. Namely because Matt Bombers does not have an area for bonus. Okay. Can I jump over you? No, I cannot. Well then. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to hurry. Gotta go fast. Oh, damn! Okay. I gotta... Remember where that shit. Okay, wait, wait. All right, I got all four of them there. Oh, my God. Damn it. Okay. I kind of screwed up there. Apparently I'm supposed to be a bit faster. Who knew I lost my mask? Damn it all. 
All right, take two. Damn! What? Okay, let me just make sure I got all the gettable crates. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, yeah, and we'll take care of that with a nitro block, hopefully, at the end. Okay! Whew! That level doesn't... Well, that little bonus area doesn't really play around now, does it? All right, back to main level. And onward we go. Damn you, spiky mummy. Damn you to hell. Yeah, okay, just making sure. Damn you, platforms. Damn all of you to hell. Not you, viewers, just the platforms and the spiky mummy. And bottomless pits. Okay, we made it over the alligator pit. And now we have more firefly action and more spiky mummy action. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Oh dear. Okay. Seriously? Oh, alright. So then we hit that. We grab our gem. And we are out. Yay! That was fun. That was fun. This next thing, however... Woo! Yeah, we're about to fight in Cortex. The big bad boss of this game. Yeah, go ahead and dance, Crash. Go ahead. Get in this little bit of joy. Woo! But, yeah. It was like Naughty Dog learned their lesson from Crash 1 and 2 because Cortex in this game is actually rather hard. Yeah, because Crash 1, he was easy. Crash 2, it was just... Like, words couldn't even describe how easy that fight was. But this one, it is a bit tough. Currently have 59 lives. That might not last. But we shall see. I might get lucky and I might get him first try. But, yeah. This fight is a bit tough. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, and yeah. I don't think you can ever get a mask for this. Like, as you will see in an event that happens during the fight, like, Aku Aku becomes sort of, uh, indisposed with something else. That's probably not the right choice of words there, but yeah. Well, Alright, he gets preoccupied with something else. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter if you go into this fight with the mask or not. So we must do this on one hit point. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage, incensed beyond belief. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious! But it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you. Yep, that is their plan. And there's nothing, you know, better to set the tone of a final boss fight than some evil laughter. Crash Bandicoot for the last time. Give the crystals to me. Alright, so yep, Aku Aku is now fighting Uka Uka. Now you have to watch out for that beam can hurt you. 
while Cortex is shooting at you. Oh my god. I can probably normal jump over that. Yes, I can. Okay. Now you gotta watch out for the mines. And that's when Cortex lets his guard down when you're supposed to run up and spin him and not go into an energy ball. Ah, boy. Yeah, so many things in this fight can kill you. So many things. And you would think, you know, since if you run into the... If you run into uh, Aku's little blue beam right there, you know, that's the beam of good. That won't hurt me. Ha, yeah, right, it will. Okay. Can, can I do this with less death now? Please. Okay, he's tossing out the mines. Seriously, you're gonna put one right there, guy. All right, I spun him, and now to spin him into the hole. And that is hit number one. So Uka brings him back up, and he's back with a vengeance. So now, this is just utterly annoying. Okay. But yeah, they make a little figure eight pattern. You just need to be conscious of where they are at all times while you're running. Okay. Pro tip! Don't run into a mine! Just, just don't. Don't, don't. Just, just don't. Okay, I got the second hit. All right. Oh, come on! Get in the pit! What is wrong with you, Cortex? Thank you! <laughs> Alright, and now comes the annoying phase. Because for the most part, uh, Aku and Uka... Yeah, they do that now, and it's pretty random where they're gonna lock up like that. Oh, crap. Okay, come on. Come on. Throw out your minds now, in a decent pattern, for me to avoid. Okay. Yes! Mine, alright. Come on. And... Yes! It only took six lives! That is kind of an anticlimactic, uh... Victory there, but... Yeah! We did it, and we get the power-up. Speed shoes to run faster. Hold down R2 button while running. Yeah, crash. That really was an anticlimactic victory. He didn't even have a little death quote. Defeated again? This is not fair. Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big Bags of ice for my head. <laughs> it's not over, Bandicoot. There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph. <laughs> yep, there are still the gems. One of them to be exact. And it's in the final level of the game, Rings of Power, which we'll be getting next time. And then we're going to beat Cortex again and see the final ending. But, yep, that was Crash 3, and, uh, yeah, I gotta say, like, it's still my favorite in the Crash series in general. I mean, I, I really have nothing much to say about it. I mean, I, I like the game. It's really good. Everything about it is, like, just really nice. It aged well, like, way better than that of Crash 1. I think had Crash 1 had a decent save system, that would have aged just just fine. I think people go back to that just for the novelty and the difficulty, but yeah, whatever. This game, yeah, it has its difficult moments, but for the most part, it's not as rage-inducing as Crash 1 or Crash 2. It's like, the difficulty is sort of just in the middle in terms of the difficulty spectrum. Not too hard, but not too easy either. And overall, it's just a little, fun little experience. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Yeah, if I had to rate all the games in order, I don't know if I said this in a previous Crash part in Crash 1 or Crash 2. But yeah, this 
I will probably always hold number one. You know, uh, two would probably be Twin Sanity. Now, I think that's an underrated game that gets hate that it doesn't deserve. But, yeah, when I get to playing that, then I'll sort of get into my whole thoughts on that. But then third place would probably be Crash 2. Then Crash 4. And then Crash 1. I'm not saying Crash 4 and Crash 1 are bad games, it's just I hold the other games above them just for various reasons. Thank you, Clancy Brown, for being a great voice actor. You too, Michael Ensing. And William Hootkins for being Dingo Dial, the great, wonderful, magnificent Dingo Dial who deserves more love. Oh, I also have no idea where to put Crash Bash into that whole thing, but that's not a platforming game, it's a party game. A hard, soul-crushing party game, but a party game nonetheless. Oh well, so yep, that was uh, Mad Bombers, this level Bug Light, and in Cortex. Next time, we're getting some relics here. So thank you all for watching, have a great day, see you next time for some more Crash Bandicoot Warped. Yeah, goodbye.